Hello, I'm Mark Eccles from Apogee Google Cloud. In the earlier videos of the Edge Micro Gateway module, we learned how to configure northbound, one-way, and two-way TLS on the Edge Micro Gateway. In this video, we will set up both one-way and two-way TLS between the Edge Micro Gateway and the target server. We will refer to the connection between the Edge Micro Gateway and the target server as the southbound connection from here on. Configuring the southbound one-way TLS is relatively simple, as the Micro Gateway acts as a TLS client out of the box. Assuming that your backend is already set up as a TLS server, there are just a couple of things we may need to configure to get it to work. By default, the Edge Micro Gateway relies on the operating system's built-in trust store. This trust store contains a long list of common public certificate authorities and will be perfectly fine as long as your backend server has a certificate signed by one of these. For some use cases, such as where the backend service is hosted on a corporate intranet, you may be using certificates signed by an internal CA. In such cases, we would need to configure the trust store for that host. In this diagram, we introduce a new YAML element called targets. Under targets, we specify the client SSL settings for a given host name. This is where we reference the file containing the trusted certificates. We need to make sure the element reject unauthorized is set to true. This ensures that the Edge Micro Gateway will return an error if the target server presents any certificate that is not trusted. Now let's review the steps involved in setting up southbound one-way TLS on Edge Micro Gateway. As usual, we need to obtain a CA signed certificate for the target server. The second step is to update the Edge Micro YAML configuration file for the desired organization and environment. Ensure that the target server certificate chain is available in pen format on the file system so that we can reference them from the Edge Micro Gateway config. Finally, we will reload the Edge Micro Gateway to pick up the new configuration changes so that it starts using southbound two-way TLS connections. Let me demonstrate this through an example. For this demo, I have configured a Micro Gateway Aware proxy in Edge. The target server is configured with a self-signed certificate. Let's make the API call. The micro gateway returned an error code, depth zero self-signed cert. The TLS handshake failed because the micro gateway does not trust self-signed certificates. In order to get micro gateway to trust this, I will update the YAML configuration to trust that specific certificate presented by this host. Now let's reload the Edge Micro Gateway. And let's make the API call again. There you go. The TLS handshake now works, and we got a successful response. Next, we will see how to configure two-way TLS between the micro gateway and target server. 
Let's assume we have an Edge Micro Gateway proxy which uses a target server that requires two-way TLS. We will need to configure the Micro Gateway with a key and client cert that the target server trusts. In addition to the configuration settings that we made in one-way TLS, we need to add a few more settings. This is where we introduce two new additional client options in your YAML file, namely the key and cert. We may choose to configure a client certificate and key for all southbound targets. Additionally, we can specify a client certificate and key for specific southbound targets by specifying the host name in the YAML file. This is useful for target servers that require a specific client certificate. Let's look at the steps involved in setting up southbound two-way TLS on the Edge Micro Gateway. As with northbound two-way TLS, we need to obtain a signed client certificate, and this time it's the Micro Gateway acting as the TLS client. Once the client certificate and private key are prepared, the second step is to update the Edge Micro Gateway YAML configuration file for the desired organization and environment. The client certificate and key must be on the file system in pen format so that we can reference them from the Micro Gateway config. Finally, we will reload the Edge Micro Gateway to pick up the new configuration changes so that it is able to negotiate two-way TLS connections with the target server. I will now update the YAML configuration file to use the client certificate and key for the specific target host. In the example, I am using badssl.com to simulate the scenario. The YAML file is now updated. I will reload the Micro Gateway once again. Let's use Postman to make an API call. Wow, the API call went through successfully. Great, we now have two-way TLS encrypted connections between the Edge Micro Gateway and the target server. This concludes our videos on configuring TLS for Edge Micro Gateway. Check out the links in the video's description for our online documentation and to the Apogee community where you can post any questions or feedback you might have. Thank you, and stay tuned for our upcoming videos on troubleshooting Edge Micro Gateway.